My name is Nazira Muhammad Razali from Malaysia Japan International Institute of Technology, University of Technology Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. So I will present this study, the simulation of optical planar waveguide sensor for microplastics detection in water. My co-author here is Dr. Nur Najahatul Huda Saris from Faculty of Electrical Engineering, University of Technology Malaysia, Johor, Malaysia. Here is the outline for this presentation. Firstly, I will introduce a bit about microplastic. Secondly, I will briefly explain the simulation method. Thirdly, I will show you the results and a bit of discussion. And finally, I will conclude everything from this work. Plastics have wide applications and are extremely useful in everyday life. So we use, plas we use plastic for packaging material, storage, and bottle. However, improper disposal of post-consumer plastics may lead to environmental pollution. So plastic in water bodies will degrade to form microplastic fragments, eventually resulting in the microplastic invention of water. Consequently, it is not only endangers aquatic animals, but also risks human health. Research on microplastic detection methods in water have been conducted and reported based on optical, visual, and chemical inspections. Nevertheless, these methods suffer from a few limitations. Firstly, it requires complicated processing steps that produce low yield with extortionate cost, and secondly, it is time consuming. Here is the simulation method. So the simulation was executed by using Comsol Multiphysics software, and the figure shows the geometry settings with indicated dimension. For parameter settings, the analyte refractive index was set to microplastic refractive index and then for the wavelength the sensor operates in a visible wavelength here is the example of electric field distribution when the sensor was exposed to the ldpe medium so the electric field gradually decreases when reaching the core cladding or core analyte boundary as the light energy attenuates when it reach the boundary with different refractive index medium. A significant evidence and wave can be seen at the core analyte boundary due to lower refractive index contrast between the core LDPE medium. So here is the variation of mode field diameter at different analyte refractive index. So at the core analyte boundary, the penetration depth of the evanescent wave increases with the increase in analyte refractive index. The penetration depth depends on the refractive index difference between the core and the analyte. So the lower the refractive index difference, the higher the penetration depth probing further into the analyte medium, leading to a bit more sensitive sensor. So here is the effective refractive index changes, or NF, of the sensor at different analyte refractive index. The NF increases non-linearly with analyte refractive index ranging from 1.5 1.48 RIU to 1.50 RIU. The nonlinear change happens due to the nonlinearity of evanescent wave energy when interacting with the analyte medium. The estimated sensitivity achieved by the sensor is 0 0.0004 in the dimensionless units via linear plot analysis. As a conclusion, this work successfully demonstrated the simulation of the optical planar waveguide sensor for microplastics detection in water. The sensor was simulated in different analyte refractive index, ranging from 1.48 to 
0.50 refractive index unit in reference to the microplastic refractive index. The estimated sensitivity achieved by the sensor is 0 0.004 in dimensionless unit. The simulated design pointed to a convincing sensor with potential for microplastic detection in water. These are our main references. This project is financially supported by University Technology Malaysia Fundamental Research Grant. And we would like to thank all the talented authors from Flat Icon.